freaking on this huge set. I've freaking never seen these cameras in my life. <laughs> and dude, yeah, there's Knoxville, there's there's like we man, there's all the boys. I was tripping, bro. I was like, this is sick. Excited to be chatting with uh, DJ Rachel Wolfson <laughs> and uh, big time movie star Poopies. Uh, how are you guys doing? Good. How are Good. you? Good. I apologize if I look a little tired. I was up late watching Jackass Forever. You love don't it. be. Don't apologize for. Dude. I've watched it probably like four or five times at this point. My my 14 yeah. and I've watched it together like a bunch. Like it's just the best. And and uh uh you guys are fantastic and it looked like you guys were having so much fun. Uh um what was it like being on set, being with all those like iconic jackass dudes and just like going in hard on these stunts? Rachel, I'll start with you. I mean, it was completely a dream come true. I grew up watching these guys on TV. I was a big MTV kid. So it seems so surreal, even to this day, anytime I get together with them, I'm like, am I really hanging out with these guys? Um, it was honestly such a cool opportunity that um, I'm grateful for that. I got to know them and they accepted me into this crazy family and um, they picked a, a great new cast and I love all the guys we work with. So yeah, it's, it's been really cool. Right on. Poopies, what was it like for you, man? That was a trip. I like, flew over from Hawaii and then all of a sudden I'm freaking on this huge set. I've freaking never seen these cameras in my life. <laughs> and dude, yeah, there's Knoxville, there's there's like we man, there's all the boys. I was tripping, bro. I was like, this is sick. <laughs> I was like, dude, bro, I made it. That's awesome. But, yeah. Dude. And then and then they and then they become your friends, and then you're just like, whoa, like this is <laughs> This is sick. They're real. You know, they're real. They're not fake. Yeah. So that's why, that's what I really love about them. They're just real and they just treat you like any other person. Yeah. No, they're, they're I've had a chance to chat with some of them uh, uh, this past Yeah. Week. They're really right. cool. And, and I should, I guess before we go on, I should clarify something. Uh, uh, Aaron corrected me because I, I misspoke and I said that the, the physical release for the Blu ray and DVD, uh, I said is March 29th. It's actually the digital release. <laughs> And the, the physical release is April 19th. So I need to clarify that now <laughs> because I said it wrong in like three interviews before. <laughs> but, uh, so, so uh, Rachel, I want to ask you, Scorpion stun gun, what hurt the most? <laughs> um, definitely the Scorpion hurt more. Yeah. Um, I had never been bitten in the lip by <coughs> Scorpion before. So that was for sure more painful. <laughs> <laughs> what were there? Did you like, did you have like long-term effects from that? Like for the next few days? Like, um, Well, we used, we used a couple different kinds of scorpions than the one that was shown. I mean, the one that was shown, we, we, they used two other kinds. Um, so I got bit in the lip multiple times by multiple different scorpions that have different kinds of venom. <laughs> so um, my lip was swollen for a couple of days and um I could feel it like in my lymph nodes, but I think that was just the body, you know, getting rid of whatever venom for an object that was inside of me, <laughs> um, but nothing, there was nothing that, um, no long, no permanent damage or anything. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Movies. I, I, I want to ask like what, anything that you did in this movie was any of it worse than the shark week stunt. Cause that seemed pretty gnarly, man. Nothing's worse than that. That's like, <laughs> that's like the gnar. That's like the gnarliest of the gnarliest, my friend. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, how, how, how's, 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 how's your recover? How was your recovery from that? I mean, that was a oh, freaking. Sure. This is <laughs> doing all right. Oh dude. man, this is like this is the gnarly part. Like this right here is like the the um, skin graft. But yeah, it only goes like that far. <laughs> Oh my Doesn't God. really do too much, bro. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still surfing. I'm still surfing and like riding my one tins around. So I'm back at the, the poopies grom lifestyle. Nice. Uh, it's all good. I asked I asked uh, uh Jasper and Zach about the Vomitron and 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 they were oh. like, look, we we knew nothing going into that. Was that was that accurate for you as well? You didn't know you didn't know anything. Yeah, we didn't know we like rolled up on this lot and it's like this country western paramount lot and 
we we show up on the bus and there's like a hundred cars. I'm like, what are all these cars here for? For like this little vomitron thing, you know? Bro, and then all of a sudden here comes the army trucks. I was like, that's why all the cars are parked there. I was like, <laughs> I knew Rachel, all about it. I was gonna say, Rachel, you knew all about it, right? Yeah, Rachel was in did on you, it. Did, like, were you you were in the like you knew everything. So me, <laughs> Preston, and Aaron and We Man, we were on the other side of it. So I I knew for I think a couple of days what was happening. Um, so I had to actually keep it from Zach and Poopies. Um, oh, man, I almost got caught. What a too. great friend! What a good friend! <laughs> <laughs> but it was really I, 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 I actually that was like a um a, that was really cool because I got to spend you know some quality time with the OGs and oh um, yeah real quality time. <laughs> Really cool, um, you know, getting together, torturing the poopies. Yeah, <laughs> some of the best time ever. Do you guys? I, 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 uh, I want. I asked. This is another one that I, that I asked to Jasper and Zach. Um, is it more intimidating to do these stunts or to pr- like to present a stunt idea to like come up with something and be like, "Here's what I think," because that feels like it would be pretty intimidating to me. I feel like doing the stunt is more intimidating. Um, Presenting it is fun because when you're talking to other people, you know, their input can come in and you can watch a stunt really come alive as far as like the idea of it. Um, But yeah, when it comes to the execution, I think that's where the adrenaline really comes in. You know, yeah, that's when like, yeah, you like, you do the intro and then you, you know when you're doing the intro it's like dude it's about to go down like some you're about to get hurt so you got that like five seconds for the intro and then it's like game on and it's like okay this this is i guess what we're here for we got to do it you know but but oh, the outcome is usually good but um sometimes it's bad <laughs> uh so being old school jackass fans like we all are here i'm curious i'd like to know like what your favorite like if you guys have a favorite jackass stunt poopies what, what's your favorite one from just the pantheon of jackass stunts i don't know maybe like ryan dunn putting a car up his butt and going to the doctors and getting x rayed i that's like a classic that's an iconic one yes that's fine right there couldn't agree more rachel what's your favorite one i like when steve o swallows the goldfish Oh, that was such that was just like yeah. crime, right? <laughs> that's like that's the one, dude. Like there's there should be like a cartoon freaking <laughs> NFT on that. Is it wild seeing those guys like go that hard still after two decades? Like it's like inspiring. being in person. Yeah. It's inspiring. I mean, it's just you're watching comedic stunt geniuses really, you know, give their whole lives to something. Um, and I love the fact that age isn't stopping them. It actually makes it more funnier in my opinion. And yeah. I think they agree. So, um, I find it to be inspiring. <laughs> yeah, I, I, asked, yeah. uh, I asked Preston and we man and, and Preston said that, uh, he said that in, I was like in your old, like getting older, like, do you find yourself more hesitant? And he was like, no, it's exact opposite. We're actually more gung ho. Did you guys kind of see that on set? I mean, there was no um, footage of them. Like, there was no hesitation. It didn't seem like it was any different than any of the other um, films. I mean, uh, they're a little rusty, you know. I had to give them a couple. Of tips. <laughs> <laughs> they got a, they're rusty on a couple of things, but they killed it. <laughs> well, listen, guys. My, I think my time is almost up. I want to ask one last question. There's, there's talk out there. You know, Jackass fans talk. A lot of people would love to see another Jackass show. I asked, I asked Jasper and Zach, and and they were like, "Look, if everybody else was in, we'd be in." I'm curious what you guys think. Would you want to do? Would you want to be part of a new Jackass show if that ever was on the table? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. I would be disappointed if I wasn't in it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all would poopies. <laughs> <laughs> the whole world would be. It would be sure. You can't have jackass without poopies now. No. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much for taking time to chat. I really appreciate it. Uh, jackass Forever out on Blu ray and DVD April 19th uh, and digital March 29th. Uh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs>